You probably already use knowledge sources in Copilot Studio when connecting to a public website or your SharePoint library. It is amazing how easy you can customize your Copilot and get an agent that knows your business. But does it? What about asking questions about data in your SAP system? Well, luckily, you can now also add other connections like the SAP OData connector. Although still in preview, it's amazing how easy you can now connect to SAP data. Just point it to an OData source and you're good to go. Let's take a look. So we'll start in Copal Studio and I'll just click here on Create, New Agent. And the cool thing is I can ask Copilot now or Copal Studio to create an agent for me. So I can just say create an agent that allows me to look up business partners in my subsystem. So this sounds good. So we can say agent should allow me to get the current address information, validate postcodes, filter for blocked business partners, search by roles, find duplicates. Now we can say the agent should only access and use information from my SAP system. Now we just say no, just information from the SAP system. No, nope. perfect, and we are good to go. So I could have skipped obviously all these informations already, but this gives my agent a good start to create. Now that the agent is created, I can go to knowledge sources and similar like when I would add a public website or a SharePoint site or any of these, these other services, I can now go to advanced and in advanced, I see the SAP OData connector. If I select this OData connector, then I mean, I can select a previous created connection. In my case, for this demo, I'll just again point it to the API business partner. I'll add username and password and click on create. Now I can select all the entity types that are part of the OData service. So for example, let me just filter here for business. I can select obviously the business partner Maybe I want to have the business partner address. And again, there, there's lots of additional information, but I'll skip it for now and just click on next. Now I could adjust the description, but again, I'll just leave it as default and click on add. And now after a few minutes, we have the SAP OData as an official data source. While this is still working, let me still give it a try already. So let me ask for, show me the last created business partners. Since this, this is the first time that we are calling this OData service, we need to authenticate with the connection. So if I click on the manage your connections, you can see that this connection is not yet connected for my user. So I'll connect it. You can see it's okay. I can click on submit. And now if I'll go back here and do a retry, refresh and ask this question again. It provides me with a list of business partners from my SAP system. Now, obviously this is just an overview. So I could do a drill down and say, Show me details of Romeo de John. And again, the connector connects to the SAP system, fetches the relevant information for this business partner and returns the information here in Copilot. Oh, I have a typo here. So let me actually do this again. And here we go. Now we have additional information of this specific business partner. We can also ask whether a business partner is maybe marked as blocked or inactive. So 
how many business partners are currently marked as blocked. And it tells me, look, there's one business partner marked as blocked. So maybe we can ask which one. And we get the answer in here. So I hope you could see how easy and quick it is to connect your Copal Studio to an SAP system using the SAP OData connector. This simple connection allows us to really drill down, take a look at, analyze the data directly from Copal Studio. Thank you very much for watching.